Do you know what's the most used tool in the whole music production industry? If your answer was EQ, you got it right. Thing is that, no matter if you're a beginner or intermediate producer, EQing is a work of art. There is no one-fits-all solutions and you need to address your adjustments to specific instruments, tones or mixing scenarios. Luckily, in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest method to make your EQ adjustments right with mastering the mix plugin called Mixroom. You can use it on vocals, instruments, instrument groups and even the whole mix. In this example, I'm gonna apply it on the synth chords from a synthwave track I'm working on. To start things off, you can choose a preset that suits your souls. So those are synths based on soulways. And I'm gonna choose the corresponding option. Keep in mind that those are not generic presets you can stumble across in different plugins. They are based on analyzing stems from professionally recorded tracks. And speaking of stems, if you are able to use some, choose target feature, import them and create a reference inside the plugin. This also applies to instrument loops from your favorite sample packs you like the sound of. Try using more than one to create target based on average tonal balance. And first step is to start with the busiest section of your track. As you can see, Mixroom already starts calculating targets based on tonal balance. By adding smart bands, you can load bands which act like starting points. And those are unique for your tracks. By the way, where is the frequency spectrum you may ask? So as modern producers, we so used to see this, but let me tell you something. Sometimes it may be overwhelming to EQ with your eyes and so many bands to choose from. And Mixroom operates in work by ear method. And if you ever ask an engineer, that's the best way to EQ your tracks. Now, when I'm gonna EQ this track based on those target points, let me tell you some quick general tips for EQing. First things first, try to not go over the top with boosting or cutting unless you're aiming for special affected sound. I would say that before any EQ, you need to choose the right sounds. By adding small bump in high to high mid region, you can easily add some sparkle and shimmer to piano, synths or guitars. On my synth track, it works great, but in the context of the whole mix, I would not do this, which leads me to the next point. Try not to make those adjustments in solo. Check the whole context and make decisions based on comparison to other instruments. And now one of the most important EQing tip, match the levels. The EQ adjustments you make often change perceived loudness. That also makes everything sounds fuller and brighter, but it also makes it difficult to judge if you're making the right tweaks. So Mixroom has a built-in feature to help you with that. If the perceived loudness will increase more than 2 dB, this icon will turn orange. And all you gotta do is to hover over the gain panel and match it to the pointer. While making adjustments, you can also try different band shapes. Uh, in general, shelves are great to use while boosting higher frequencies and the bells are the best for cutting things. And now let's hear some quick before and after.
Now, as you can see and hear, Mixroom will guide you to the whole process. If you're not quite sure what to do, those calculated targets are a great starting point for better EQing decisions. Wanna try it for yourself? Just click the link in the description and download the 15 days free trial. Make sure to like and subscribe if you learned something new in this video and check our other videos for more mixing tips.